There she is, guys. The newspaper stand of UpbeatNewspaper.com. So you tell me about your city. We'll get you 100 of these in your city. So go ahead, get yourself employed with UpbeatNewspaper.com. The first testing point will be the Quad Cities, which is, uh, the Quad Cities is not confused with the Twin Cities. Quad Cities is in four cities amongst Iowa and Illinois with the Mississippi River coming through it. So, um, with all the loved ones of Cashmere Deeds Publications, Lance Adrian, what we're going to do right here is if I love you, we're gonna tape your kid and garden picture amongst this banner. So if I love you, you'll see your kindergarten picture amongst there. So be on the lookout for that and be thankful as well. So here we go. So we'll uh So we'll uh we'll look in the camera here and <laughs> I just showed my belly. All right, I did uh I, I watched a documentary of Emma M whose age is 48. So he's the same age as Lance Armstrong, influencing America. Both of them born in America. Emma M actually was in a coma uh in high school. He had bullies in his life. Just a spectacular person studying studying the word of life. Uh, just like how a monk would do as well. And then, and then he wrapped it. He wrapped it out, fast wrapping. But uh, yeah, he, uh, he had bullies in high school. Um, got uh, unconscious in a bathroom on a, in a pool of blood. And the teachers didn't know where he was for the next... Uh, uh few hours in school so whew, that's uh that's a story right there man so <laughs> so he picked him up he picked himself up and kept going after his dream so cool with that so uh what i have in common with them am um is that we 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 both write literature and we're in the same division as in uh, NFL, so Minnesota Vikings, <laughs> it says, it's just as much chaos as the Bears and the Lions, like, all three do not have hope, and I don't know who has the running campaign this year in 2021 of, of possibilities, <laughs> so uh, if you were a fan of Coach Zimmer of the Vikings, I was too. It's time to leave um, and focus on building another corn palace in America. Um, so, let's see. Uh, speaking of such wonderful things. <sighs> I'm just going to open up my book so I can tell you a principle. Get it over with. Being fearless and miserable equals to being mad at pointless objects and small minds. Oh, oh. Woo! Lower your words from many to a few. Try listening. Pay attention. Anything you do, all things that you do, respect people. That is perfect harmony. Prefer to be mad and gentle. If you do not have what you already want, Sacrifice the skill trade and demand from the world. Claim the destination choices. That's awesome. That's really awesome. So no singing yet with me. So we'll uh, we'll get around to that sometime and uh, start doing uh, uh, studio stuff out in the wilderness and have a have a chair, sit in a chair, have a end table, and then. Um, 
then with that end table, there'll be a phone to get calling listeners. So just plan on being a calling listener if you're enthused. Uh, get enthused. If you're not enthused, get enthused about a second corn palace. And if you're going to do anything else, um, I wish I can encourage you that dogs are smart and, and other things. But um, dogs are willing to have sex with goats. So I can't promote that. But bass hounds are really cool. So get yourself a, a worthless dog. If you get a worthless dog, get a worthless dog of a bass hound, a pug, and a bulldog. Otherwise, uh, most dogs do have sex with goats if you uh, leave them alone with each other. So um, when the neighbor talks to me about like, yeah, I love my dog and it's smart. Well, it's, uh, you know, if, uh, 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 dogs are there to be attracted to other species, it seems like, sir. So um, keep your dog in the backyard, do what you want to do, do what you want to do, just build up your savings there, neighbor, and have yourself a good time. And once again, um, if you want to lose weight, uh, right, run four miles in 28 minutes and have it at that. Uh, good reviews um, so far. And those good reviews are with ice cream. Uh, we're gonna get some literature out there. So right now my company's valued at 100,000 uh, between two products and myself um, doing the work of it. So then uh, ice cream review, uh, it's got a review that, hey, your ice cream is, uh, is my favorite when it's runny. So, um, when I'm and that when it is runny, that uh, it reminds me of my favorite children's uh, cereal. So runny, as in not like the butt runny, but runny like an egg. That's uh, that's my assumption. I've been thinking about that for two months now. Like runny, like rut, like uh, we're just gonna conclude uh, runny like an egg. And so forth, anything else to speak? Uh, um, I think that's it for now. So 2021, uh, heard a good joke recently. So from the Dan Patrick show this last week. So I'm going to tell you that joke. If Tom Brady would get an earring in Florida, how much would that cost him? Buck and ear. Buck and ear. It's a little ha ha parody there to you. Let's see. Uh, another point. Um, let's see. I have not attended a, a Sunday worship service in 10 years. My last one was Celebrate in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Uh, since then, no, I have not. And uh, I met someone the other day, they invited me to a non-denominational service. So let's just say if that audience worship group would to be having no LLC amongst themselves, then we got ourselves a new denomination group of people that have no LLC and they're an audience worshiper group. Uh, one of the hilarious damn things ever seen in Sioux Falls was actually at Our Savior's Lutheran Church. And uh, the pastor was Judy there just a couple times. Um, weird stuff came out of her mouth. Um, I forget that term where you go through all these motions and learn some things and then you get a certificate that you made it through something freshman year. When I was age uh, 15, 16, and yeah, age 16 and 17, whatever that thing was called, confirmation, <laughs> I don't know, conform. Uh, Pastor Judy, I think she had small, short hair. Uh, she did a sermon outside about the penis. <laughs> I, if you're a parent with there, it's like, hey, this is the time to leave. <laughs> We're no longer members. <laughs> One thing you'll never find, I don't think, ever with a denomination is uh, their staff prior, or the YMCA. You can, you can look up. They they got plaques on the wall of everybody. Uh, I don't know on their website though if they show like their previous past. It's like, uh, 
we're, we're just not going to be accountable as a denomination. We're not going to let people know <laughs> about us. So I, I don't know, Pastor Judy something, uh, the head nacho person, pastor there, uh, Pastor Eric, uh, did a lot of jokes, humor. So I think he was amongst their community. He ended up having a divorce. So with, in, uh, one, Saxix probably, Eric, uh, gosh, you're, we got kicked out of a class one time when we were sophomores, uh, when we graduated to whatever it was graduated with. He gave us sausage pizza. We ended up throwing that sausage pizza. The sausages around the room. Yeah. Ah, it was fun. Our Saviors uh, was like a second family to me. Only if they had money. If our Saviors had some money, boom. I was on those retreats, whatever they had. Ski trip to Montana. So when I was age uh, 16, and that's what came out of that. Went to Nisodak uh, about three to five times. So Nisodak was cool. We had uh, we, uh, witnessed uh, a spiritual encounter there. That was fine. Um, but it was all kind of like a uh, second family to me. And then, um, then uh, Nisodak retreats, whatever and a couple, two to three um, retreats. So that's, if our saviors has some money, hey, I was involved. <laughs> not that, not that that is ever anything uh, promotable as the blood of Jesus and prosperity and all things. So uh, just eight words you need there. Do some running, calisthenics is on earth, uh, mastered is, uh, manifested itself yoga meditation so all this stuff was was became available in the 70s there's books on it so either baby boomers applied this and you're having wonderful experiences with baby boomers and it's so much fun um i've never been to a sporting event in my whole life and i was involved in sports so if it's one thing to live in the quad cities and sioux falls hey you got you got areas for four hours to build experiences and otherwise they're just excuses of poverty in the future, no career development and no business plan, uh, no social group. Uh, maybe the mom gets into bingo, becomes addicted to it. Next thing you know, your mom's influenced by the weakest uh, relationship in bingo who's controlling that relationship and she has a terrible mother as well. So just speaking of experience of someone else, uh, in Sioux Falls amongst that self. So, uh, there's books to be written. I write five hours a day now. So it's, uh, I live a boring life on that way. And, uh, what intrigues me is running. So a little bit of running and writing. So it's like friendships can be born. Today is the birth of opportunity. Um, go Vikings. If you can go Vikings, the Minnesota Vikings, but probably not, uh, most likely not. Uh, you gotta move on. Uh, right now, um, uh, met a friend in the Quad Cities who's opening up a lot of light in my life from darkness. And the whole realization is that the Cowboys in the 2021, the reason why they're doing so good is because of their coach. So it's like, whoa, that's, uh, that's really deep, impactful, how to make, how to make some changes, how to make some movements in my own personal life. I'm like, gosh, head coach. Cowboys 2021 it's like dang we could all we could all we could all do better mm -hmm. each one of us so let's see uh music wise been listening to well there's Radio Gaga by Queen um nothing like the Gaga musician singer whatever she is um she says hey I'm a uh, I'm influenced by that. Uh, <laughs> but uh, if you listen to uh, License to Ill, <laughs> I think by BC Boys, they sampled twice from Led Zeppelin on that, just a measure. So, saw that. Uh, other music wise, Radio, no, not Radiohead, uh, Green Day. Um, yeah, yeah, very influential, like uh, Nirvana coming out. Uh, want to give up a heads up on well, on the people who got a cassette tape on their birthday at age 
uh, 14, 13. 12 or 13, if you got a cassette tape of Nirvana, never mind. Ooh, that's fun stuff. That'll stay with you forever. It will. And so forth. Uh, what else was there? Um, yeah, Radiohead. Uh, cool stuff with them. Lots of lots of unique uh, stuff. So a little more badass and Fugazi, uh, Radiohead with that. Um, yeah, cool stuff. All right, I just you notice know, gotta shave, getting ugly. Um, uh, people they see me, and they think I'm I look like I'm in my twenties. I I just tell them hey, but I'm immature like a girl at age fourteen. So kind of working on myself still. I'm an unfinished product. All right, everyone. Uh, go Minnesota Vikings. Yeah, if you can, or just give up. Uh, choose a different team that looks cute. Uh, I would go with Los, uh, the Los Angeles Rams because Matt Safford worked there. And, you know, a little bit, uh, a little bit more fun than even thinking about any possibilities with the Vikings. So we're looking at the Minnesota Vikings. Whew. Just let's see them get to the uh, the semifinals and lose it stupidly. Whether it's Chris Carter, I think in 98, 2010, Brett Favre, uh, and just most recently Chaos a few years ago with, uh, I think they're going against Seattle. Um, so yeah, if you love sports and or your kid loves sports, uh, get involved with talk radio and go to sporting events. Patrick Mahomes is banking money. So, so we'll do what we can. All right, Prosper America, good for you. Signing out. Whoosh.